Hello, welcome to your special spring readings. The vernal equinox marks the time of year to the seasonal shift into spring, bringing in warmer weather in the northern hemisphere and the commencement of the winter thaw. Of course, in the southern hemisphere, it is the beginning of autumn. Spring officially starts on March 20th at 3.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The equinox means equal amount of day and night. Equa meaning equal and nox meaning night in Latin. This is where astrologers set the marking point of zero degrees Aries, creating the Western tropical zodiacal system. There are many cultural traditions that vary as to when the new year actually begins. In some cultures and religions, especially among astrologers, spring is seen as the initiation of the real new year, being that it is based upon the nature's season and not a man-made calendar year. But either way, it is an important time for us to awaken and emerge from the chrysalis of winter and put our dreams into action. Now would be a seasonally supportive time to honor your true passions by doing what you had envisioned during the winter months. I wanted to briefly share as to what I saw as being the most appropriate card to represent spring as the sun card. And if it happens to show up in any of your readings, consider it a bonus. All right, so we see the sun as the bringer of light and warmth, which marks the seasons changing. We see the flowers here are in bloom, especially sunflowers in this card. We see this naked child as a sign of innocence and joy. And he's holding this red banner announcing a significant event that brings promise of hope and positive changes. We see the horse as a symbol for power and strength that the sun brings in its solar power. And finally we have this wall here in the background which is a distinct marker or barrier between one thing and another. In this case it is the changing of the seasons. I may actually make a more in-depth video of this card symbology on my channel's tarot tutorial playlist. Um, but without any further delay, let's get started with your readings. Happy spring, everyone. Pisces, for your reading, I will be selecting cards from the Illuminati tarot for each month. The first card will be for the remainder of March from the 20th to the 31st. The second will be for April, the 3rd for May, and the 4th for June, up until the start of the summer season on the 20th. Then I will be selecting a playing card for advice and or clarification or confirmation. And lastly, I will select a card from the Angels of Light Cards of Clarity Oracle deck to see which angelic energy will be assisting you this season. So please show me the energy of the cards for Pisces. What's the energy for Pisces spring? This card has come up quite a bit. I think for Aries and Cancer possibly. Um, the Seven of Wands is this sort of like frantic sort of energy for the end of March. So it's like trying to sort of meet the demands. I feel like there's some sort of deadline here where it's like you're trying to sort of get everything in order and it could be feeling a little bit overwhelming, but it's like you've, you've got this still. The one thing I like about the Seven of Wands is that you're on top of it. You're in the advantage point. So even though if there's a lot of people that are you know, making um, demands on your time, your energy, or whatever. I do see it as like, you know, you're able to handle it, one, and you're actually, you're able to say no if you want to. Um, but I see it's sort of like a frantic sort of trying to get things in order energy and maybe playing a little bit of catch up in some way. 
So I also see for May is a wonderful energy is the Nine of Cups coming in. This card also showed up in the position, same position here for Aquarius, which is about your happiness. Really, I mean, we could expand upon that, but ultimately this is about what makes you happy in life. What makes you happy? Not what makes other people happy. And I get that there is a sense of like needing to please others and like putting yourself in the back seat for so long. And now it's like, you know what? The beginning of spring, like end of March in April, I feel like you're going to be doing things that make you happy and you're going to be making yourself a priority in whatever sense that is. And it's okay to be a little bit selfish with your time and energy because there's only so much of you to go around, okay? So whatever the situation is for the Nine of Cups, I feel like it's going to have a good outcome for you here in, in um, April. So this is about your, your happiness, joy, wishes coming true whatever it is that you want it looks like it's within reach okay so the hanged man is for may right yes may so the hanged man is actually represented by neptune which is the western tropical ruler of your sign but it's about surrender it's about spirituality it's about like you know, surrendering your personal will for the common good, which is the complete antithesis of what I just explained. Um, but it is about, you know, allowing. There's some sort of allowance, acceptance, surrendering to the plan, okay? And it's okay to take some time and to be inactive, because it looks like you're trying to find that sort of balance between <clears throat> being too active and being spread too thin and in action and doing nothing. <laughs> and it's okay at times to do either one. There's no judgment here. There's no bad. It's not like saying, you know, that it's not, I'm not saying like this is like a useless energy. Everything is useful. Um, but it's, it is a card about just allowing whatever comes up to be taken care of at that moment. You don't have to sort of, you know, um, have everything lined up. Again, there's just sort of that allowance that's surrendering. Okay. Someone important is coming in for you in June. The King of Pentacles is showing up. And this is a Capricorn energy. So it's someone who is very mature. Someone who is very, can be somewhat serious. I feel like this person has good advice for you when it comes to like either your business or your schedule because he lives in the practical realm of like day-to-day -day matters and like finances and things that are you know practical reality the king of pentacles it doesn't necessarily feel romantic although it could be it feels like this person is coming in for your growth on some level and Whatever this person presents you with, it's going to change you in some way where it's going to have like long, long term effects. It could be for the better. There is something that I'm seeing here. Now, the shadow card is the five of swords, which is about conflict, arguments, disagreements, not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Okay, and maybe that's what this surrender is about. It's like, you know what, let's just give it up. Let's let it go. Let's not keep running over the same old,
ground. We've already covered that. There's no need to go back, right? If things are working for you, there's no need to sort of add any problems to this. Okay. The Five of Swords, to me, this is always like a... Like, you can't have this card show up without there's somebody being on the other side. So there's you and somebody else. It could be a disagreement. Again, not seeing eye to eye. And it's also a misunderstanding. Here's that person, the King of Pentacles. Some sort of misunderstanding with this person. Maybe not agreeing with their methods. And again, this message is like all about what makes you happy, what you're not here to please other people. So even though this person has credibility, they may be established in some way. They That system works for them. And it's okay to ha listen to the advice, but all in all, if it doesn't work for you, then don't implement it. What works well for somebody is not always going to work well for you. And it's okay to stand up for yourself as long as, you know, it's not like overboard, you know, like there's a gentle way of saying like, no thanks, right? So something is going to come up with this King of Pentacles. I kind of want to ask a little bit, I need a, like, a clarification on this because I'm getting like these general themes, but I'm not getting anything like specific with them. Or what this hangman and king of pentacles is about. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a clarification card from this deck. It's seven of cups. So you have options. You have choices. And this person may be an option. This person may be presenting with you, you with an option. And maybe things are not so clear here with the hangman. Again, it's that Neptunian energy, which is a little bit foggy. And this is the fog. This may be a little bit of confusion. Misunderstandings, confusion. Okay. So there's something to look out after that, you know, or look out for that. The King of Pentacles may bring some sort of clarity or may bring some sort of confusion in your life. Okay. So I'm getting that it could really go either way for you. Where it's either like a moment of clarity or adding to the confusion of things. But really all in all, again, that message is like putting yourself first. Like what is it that you want? What is it that you need? What works best for you? Not accommodating this person, you know, if it works to accommodate them at the same time of getting your needs met, then perfect. But with this five of swords energy, I'm kind of just looking at like, you know, there's a definite strong opinions here and opinions are just that everyone has one. This person may come off as a little bit controlling or opinionated, but they think it's for your highest good and it works for them. But it could just add a little bit of confusion. Just know that you have options with this card, okay? You're not stuck. You're not the hanged man. There's not, you know, there's a way out of it, okay? And and again, maybe you're maybe this person has some good advice. Maybe they don't. Either way, you're going to follow your heart. So let me go ahead and pull to see which angelic energy will be helping you. Who's going to be around you, Pisces? The inner child angel. Allow the inner child angel to help you stay connected with the trusting, happy, joyful aspect of your soul. True love and peace emerge from this nurturing place within you. This angel takes you to that place and enhances your ability to extend this holy energy into your life, affecting and influencing yourself 
and others. I get that now with the Hanged Man. Going into that nurturing place within yourself for true love and peace. And it looks like that is going to be affecting in a positive way this King of Pentacles. This card also could be like also asking for, you know, forgiveness for other people's mistakes. So, but I feel like just in spring, you're going to be connecting with certain parts of your soul, staying connected to that inner child. What is it that you, you as a person in your core, what is it in your core that you truly want, you truly need? What would make you the happiest? That's really just what I'm getting. And don't, you know, overlook your needs, your the needs of your inner child, basically. Okay, Pisces. So this is the reading for spring. If you saw anything else that you want to contribute or um, if you have any questions or additional comments or insights, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the upcoming videos.